In this video, we'll learn how to draw a box and whisker plot that might have an outlier. In some of our previous videos, recall that we looked at how to determine a five number summary using the weights of a group of men. We'll need these values for our box and whisker, so let's do a quick review. First, we determine the minimum, the smallest number in the list, then the maximum, the largest number. After making sure that our numbers were listed in order, we eliminated pairs of numbers, starting with the first and last and moving inwards until we found the middle number, the medium. Our next step was to find the lower quartile, also known as Q1. To find this, we found the median of the lower half of the numbers. The lower quartile, Q1, is equal to 180 pounds. And to find the upper quartile, we find the median of the upper half of the numbers. The upper quartile, Q3, is equal to 204 pounds. Looking at our numbers, 272 pounds seems much larger than the other weights, so we should definitely check to see if there's an outlier. To do this, we'll need to find the interquartile range first. Interquartile range is equal to the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. 204 minus 180 is equal to 24. In a previous video, we learned that small outliers are less than the lower quartile minus 1.5 times the interquartile range. This will create a lower fence that we will need for our display. The lower fence is equal to 180 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, 24. The lower fence is 144. Large outliers are greater than the upper quartile plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. This will create an upper fence needed for our display. The upper fence is equal to 204 plus 1.5 times 24. The upper fence is equal to 240. Because 272 is above our upper fence, it is an outlier and should be displayed in our box and whisker separately. Let's start to create the box of our box and whisker plot by creating a scale from 170 to 280 to fit all of our values. We then create our box by putting a line at 190 for our median, a line at 180 for our lower quartile, and a line at 204 for our upper quartile. We close the box by joining the three lines. Since none of our values go below the lower fence, we draw a line at 173 to represent the minimum and make our first whisker. Since we have a number higher than our upper fence, we indicate it separately with its own marking. If we had additional outliers, each would have their own marking. Now, we can create the endpoint of our second whisker with the highest value within our fence. And this is what our final box and whisker will look like. Here's what we've learned. A box and whisker displays the minimum, maximum, median, lower quartile, upper quartile, and each outlier. The whiskers end at the maximum or minimum other than the outlier. Outliers are displayed individually on a box and whisker plot.